An example of um, us using uh, circulating tumor DNA MRD testing uh, is, is a young patient of uh, mine who's had uh, oligometastatic disease and has had curative intent treatment and right now is uh, undergoing uh, surveillance uh, visits uh, with the usual recommended uh, scans as well as uh, tumor markers. Uh, at the same time, he was one of our first patients who uh, we were able to enroll in the expanded access program uh, to get a tumor-informed circulating tumor DNA tested, uh, which allows for us to uh, monitor for his uh, cancer in his blood uh, each time he has uh, his surveillance uh, visits uh, every three months or so. Uh, especially during these times with the COVID situation, uh, we have, as you know, deferred a lot of uh, uh, patients and made the difficult decision of uh, not seeing them if um, uh, they are not uh, to, to decrease their exposure to the hospital environment. However, the ability of doing home phlebotomy in some of our high-risk patients that we know, that we would like to know and monitor closely, uh, these tumor-informed assays and the expanded access program is allowing me uh, to have uh, the blood drawn and uh, with that being negative, uh, gives us more peace of mind that uh, if we are to defer or delay a, a patient's visit, like in this uh, young patient's case, that uh, it would be reasonable uh, and not worth uh, the risk of uh, the patient being exposed to the hospital environment and the scans uh, unless they really have to.